Back to noon, we're learning more information about the investigation into Saturday's mass shooting in the Midland Odessa region. KDK's Kate State Capitol reporter at Steffi Lee has the latest updates right now from peace officers. Investigators were originally gathering evidence for more than 15 crime scenes. Right now, they're down to two. We've also learned that the suspect made rambling phone calls to authorities before and during the shooting. There was a disagreement and uh, again, he was terminated from employment. Odessa Police Chief Michael Gerke says after 36 year old Seth Ader was fired from his job at an oil field service company Saturday, he and his employer both called 911. Uh, basically, they were complaining on each other minutes after calling the FBI's national tip line, the suspect was pulled over on an unrelated traffic violation. There's a lot of rambling statements on incoherent subjects. He then traveled down the interstate on his shooting rampage. He was on a long spiral of, of going down. He didn't wake up Saturday morning and walk into his company and, and then it happened. Speaking about active shooters in general, FBI special agent in charge Christopher Combs says there are very few instances where people reach out to seek help for those they're concerned about. We really need the public's help to reach out to us when they see people in that downward spiral that may be on that road to violence. And there's a way to break that path. I really do believe that. The Odessa police chief tells us they're still unclear where the suspect obtained his rifle. However, we did learn that at some point he failed a national background check. Investigators tell us that they expect to finish collecting evidence from the remaining crime scenes by Tuesday. In Odessa, Steffi Lee, back to you. Investigators right now looking for the shooter's house. He lived in Penwell, just southwest of Odessa. Neighbors say Seth Ator kept to himself. He would drive slowly when children were outside playing. One woman who lives down the street says that gunshots in the neighborhood, nothing new there, but gunshots she heard this past couple of months, she says they were different. There was also times where maybe like three in the morning where you would hear an automatic weapon going off until up until five in the morning during the week, not just the weekends, but people do shoot out here without, you know, consent for the cops. But that was like a consistent, consistent uh, so up until three to five in the morning. It would wake us up. By the way, the feds say they're aggressively following up to find the source who supplied the gun to the shooter. They said he tried to legally buy a weapon, but was flagged during a background check to the Knicks system.